The Sawarita Air Force Range, also known as the Sawarita Bombing and Gunnery Range, was built just east of Sawarita, Arizona, in 1942. It was used for the training of bombardiers, aerial gunners, anti-aircraft gunners, and others during World War II and the Korean War. The abandoned Sawarita flight strip, 31 degrees 57 minutes 50 seconds north, 110 degrees 55 minutes 29 seconds west, is located in the southwestern corner of the range, and was used as an emergency flight strip until 1978. Before deactivation, the airspace over the range was protected by its own restricted area, R-310. Topic history The range was completed by April 1942, shortly after the United States joined in the war, and was called the Sawarita Bombing and Gunnery Range. It was located approximately 20 miles southeast of Tucson and about 2 miles east of Sawarita. The range itself spanned 27,045 acres and consisted of multiple large round targets made of stone. Most of the range was located east of the town, although some areas that are now part of Sawarita's northern end were also used. The Sawarita flight strip wasn't opened until 1943. Before that time, the air crewmen who used the facility were flying out of Davis Monthan Army Airfield. The Sawarita airfield had 12 buildings and other structures, observation towers, a 5,540-foot 5 paved runway, utility lines, and a range for radio-controlled aircraft operations. After World War II ended, the range was closed, but in 1950 it was reopened again and renamed the Sawarita Air Force Range. Most of those who used the range at this time were bomber crews flying out of Carswell Air Force Base in Texas. After the Korean War, the Strategic Air Command kept the airfield in service as an emergency flight strip, even though it was dangerously close to the targets used for training. In 1978, the range was finally closed when the federal government released the lands to the public. The land is now owned by the state of Arizona, which has leased most of it to a cattle rancher. It was noted that in 1978, 2,550 acres of the range were cleared of explosive ordnance. As of today, a school and a park occupy the site of the airfield, although most of the flight strip remains intact. There have been only a few bombs found on the range over the years, as well as other objects that resemble bombs, but most of the bombs dropped by the military were actually dummies, which were filled with sand. However, officials from the Army Corps of Engineers say that there is still a chance that unexploded ordnance remains buried in the ground. Lloyd Goddard, a project manager with the Corps of Engineers Los Angeles Regional Office, said, on any bombing range, there's always a chance that things could have gone under the surface. High explosives were used on one of the Sawarita range target areas. Gallery. Topic. See also Arizona during World War II Arizona World War II Army Airfields <laughs>